Hi, fifth grade. Uh, today for art, we're going to continue the uh, Dream City drawing we did last time. But now, we're going to use color. So I'm going to be using colored pencils for this uh, because if you think back to when we learned about value, value means light and dark. And we talked about how you could create different uh, values with a pencil depending on how hard you push down. If I push down normally, you might get a medium value. I could, I could push down really lightly, just barely touch the paper, I'd get a very light value. Or I could push down really, really hard and get a dark value. So that's what we're going to do for this project. We're going to create different values. So pick a color, doesn't matter. You could do everything the same color. Um, I'm going to change it up. But for Paul Clay's Dream City, it's basically like a greenish blue. So he would just make it a little bit darker each time for each shape. But for every uh, object I have, I'm going to um, use a different color just to change it up. He'd do that sometimes in his art too. So let's see. How about let's do a blue car. And I'm going to zoom in for this part because it, it's kind of tricky. Alright, so for this car, uh, I want it to be blue. So the first thing, just the regular car, the first car I drew, I'm just going to shade it or color it in, but very, very lightly. I'm not pushing down hard at all. And I'm going to make the wheels the same color. This is abstract art. You're not trying to make it look like a real car. But there we go. Very light blue. For the next one, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to push down a little bit harder. And for the last two, I'm going to do those just like normal, but there's a kind of a surprise for the last one. So the last two are the same, except that I'm going to take black and very lightly go over this blue. So the second to last one is your normal color. Just push down hard and colorize it. But the very last one is your normal color plus black. I'll do that again with this tree here. Um, this time I will change it up. I'm going to make the trunk of my tree brown. And then I'm going to start playing with my values. So my first tree in front, I'm going to shade very lightly. It's just green, very light green. Next one, I'm going to push down a little harder, so it's a little bit darker value. And the last two, I'm just going to push down as hard as I can and colorize them. So again, the last two are the same, but then that very last one, I'm going to go over it with black too, really lightly. It should still look like green, just a little bit darker than the one before it. Okay, and I'm going to go through and color all my objects like that. I'm going to keep going. It's going to look cool. So once your objects are colored in and you have different values, the next step is color the background. And we just split the background into different rectangles. So those we're going to color. And you can color with whatever you want, however you want. Um, the only two th rules you need are they should be different from each other and they have to be neutral and neutral are things like black, brown and gray so not very colorful so the background is going to be not colorful so you could use black and brown colored pencils if you want to do that you could use a regular pencil because it already is gray and you can get different values for that uh, you could use markers for that you could use a sharpie or you could use crayons so it's up to you. You could even use paint if you have it. So we're just going to color the background and make it so it's uh, neutral. Let's do it.
There we go. Paul Clay Dream City style picture. So colorful value scales for your whatever your objects are. Neutral colors for the rectangles in the background. Work hard, have fun.